Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to my walkthrough for Pop Tropica's Mock Tropica Island. This is the newest island just before Christmas, and it's full of bugs that are programmed into the game, and there's also a little bug that you guys want to be careful of, and I'll warn you about as we get to it. Now, before we get to the walkthrough, I want to please encourage you to like this video. I try really hard to do the best walkthroughs on Pop Tropica and get you all the information and make it entertaining, so I really appreciate your support and your likes. Also, if you're looking for a specific item or quest or, or task and you can't seem to find it in the video, check in the description and there will be time codes for certain items that people are really having trouble with. Okay, let's get started and we drop in front of a Pop Tropical Worldwide Headquarters and you can see the tree is glitching into a cupcake, of course. And we've got this girl right here and you guys can see under new management. So that's a little bit fishy already and she seems pretty upset. Let's go talk to her and just choose the third option. And yes, she's the random Pop Tropical and didn't realize it. <laughs> let's go and uh, into the headquarters because that's where we dropped right in front of. And, uh, well, we'll go over to the left here and talk to the first guy, and he's a little doctor. He's, he's a bit crazy, and he's going to manipulate the children <laughs> inside the room. And he'll show us how he does it, and, uh, asks them what they would want more than anything else, and that would be a pet, which you guys can get if you are members right now. Um, the, there is a pet now in Pop Tropica that can follow you around. Uh... They eat a lot and they multiply and stuff. You'll see later. But look, he gives them cake and pets. That's a really good way to manipulate kids. But anyway, we will get some cake. And look at the size of that cake next to the focus testing room. Okay, so his mom made some cake. And there we go, the cake. Be careful with that. That is related to the glitch I talked about before. Let's go into the elevator and go up to the next floor and we'll talk to some executives. The first one is the safety inspector and he's kind of a stick in the mud. So let's let's click on him and just ask him what he's working on now and it sounds super boring. He's just trying to keep people safe. Yay, woo. Yeah, safety first, fun later. No, 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 no. All right, let's go up to the next floor. I mean, Pop Tropic is about fun, not safety. That's annoying. We'll go to ad sales, and this starts to get annoying throughout the island. You'll see. Ask her what she's working on now, and she'll show you this amazing new ad unit that's obnoxious as anything, and we'll see it. Well, not that one specifically, but just click on it a few times to get it away and give her some money. But uh, yeah, you'll see ads throughout. Uh, it's just her putting stuff in there and it's a bit annoying, but she's got a nice office and look at that golden espresso machine there. That's amazing. <laughs> Let's go up to the third floor and that will activate the next thing that we're supposed to do. And also guys, you see the ads from megafightingboss.com. Those actually work. So select the third option here. And uh, those uh, islands aren't really true, but anyway, uh, the ones up there, but Pull on the lever here on the slot machine and you get a funny little thing that says, uh, let's see, a swashbuckling pirate. A swashbuckling pirate is upset because the child's cherished. Well, you guys read it. <laughs> I couldn't read it fast because I got tongue twisted. But let's go down and uh, all the way down to the ground floor again. And you'll notice as soon as we get there, we'll run past the doors a little bit and there'll be someone waiting for us. There she is, and that basement door was locked, but now she'll unlock it for us. So we can go see the poor people in the base dungeon basement. <laughs> they treat them very poorly, you guys will see. Uh, they got locked down there, and that's one of the reasons that Pop Tropica is so messed up right now in this island. So, and oh, <laughs> that guy. You'll be kicking him down the stairs about 10 times in this island, so get used to it. <laughs> I felt bad in the beginning, but not so much anymore. Now, this is the part I'm talking about. Let me open up my inventory and show you guys uh, the cake. Do not use this until further in the island. If you do, it will lock up Patrotrica. It'll take away your cake and you won't be able to use it and you'll get stuck. It happened to me in Road to Captain Thing Noodles and I want you guys to be careful of it. So talk to all four of the people. Doesn't matter what order, but once you've talked to each of them, it will activate her and then we can click where can I find them and it will send us on our quest. And it is totally a fetch quest, no matter what she says. So we gotta find the designer, we gotta find the developer, and we have to find the writer. So we're on our way. And you see these computers turned on. What you wanna do is click on the Island Maker Pro Home Edition and go ahead and put the mood to happy. Click save and quit. We don't care about the demo version. 
All right, and there is another little TV screen here, and you just want to click that and click resume, yes. And then just go ahead and click save and quit. Don't worry about the building position because they switched up on me. I think I ended up in the common room when I did this and it switched them up. So don't worry about that for now. All you want to do is resume the building of it. And uh, this guy who will come up with this brilliant idea for achievements, which get really annoying as well. <laughs> These guys are trying to ruin Pop Tropica. I tell you what. So here we go. Uh, see, I wanted them, but really the achievements you guys will see. So I'm an achiever. And that's my achievement. <laughs> what? Okay, let's exit. And then this one's really funny. I love this one. I love this one. Here it comes. <laughs> You're a dork <laughs> for walking through the door. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, so we want to talk to this guy right here with his little pet. And he'll say that he wants to go feed his narf pet. I don't know its pet's, his pet's name, but it says narf narf. Kind of like a dog, I guess. But anyway, let's follow him to the cheese factory. So go on to your right. And uh, you guys will see, now you can make it through to F-Frame University, which you couldn't before, uh, before we reset that computer uh, and, and, and resumed the building. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to go this way. So keep going, we'll go right past. That's kind of near the end. Let's go over here. And there is our buddy and his pets won't stop eating. Look at those things, there are a ton of them. And look at the glitchy cows. And uh, it says, don't eat the cows. I think it means don't feed the cows, but Oh well, anyway, the guy is friendly, so we can go right in. Even though it says it's closed, just go on in. And, uh, yep, cheese bowl <laughs> for entering the factory. Jump up on here and use the shelving, and we'll go and talk to this guy, who is one of the employees we're looking for. And just click, is there anything I could do to get you back? And he'll tell you, nope, I love it here. I love my cheese curds and they're free and stuff. So uh, go ahead and spin this dial. I don't know if you have to, but it's fun to watch him run over and try and stop you because he doesn't want to lose his cheese curds. Uh, but uh, once he goes back, all you have to do is try and leave and he'll give you a free box of cheese curds. So go ahead and grab that and you'll need that for the dogs and squeak into the mic. <laughs> all right, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and leave here. And scene stealer walking to a new scene. See, these are starting to get annoying, aren't they? And <laughs> look at him up there. He's sick. <laughs> okay, let's go over to the left. And we're going to go find all those pets because they're getting annoying to that guy. We want to save him. And we also kind of want to be selfish and use them for our own good. So keep on running to your left here. And once we get over here, you'll see them. And where are they? Yep, there they are. Oh. Went too far. Okay, uh, then all you need, yep, the pets are driving him insane. All they do is eat and they multiply and all that stuff. So open up your inventory here and grab those cheese curds and equip the box. So go ahead and do that. And then press the space bar and you'll throw one of the cheese curds and that'll set them off to the left. And there they go. And all you want to do is follow them to the left. <laughs> Caught you, you guys are slow. Uh, keep on going. And here we are. We'll know some, will someone, will no one get rid of them? We will. Uh, just go, oops, I threw it the wrong way. Uh, just go over to the left here and throw one of the cheese curds over the edge. And they love it. They're going, all of them. And they will fill up the chasm so we can get over to Mount Funshine. Doesn't that sound fun, guys? Mount Funshine. Not that fun. Um, <laughs> you guys will see in a minute. All right, so you just walk across them, and oh, if you click this uh, purple and red balloon up here, there turns to a P for Pop Tropica, so it's cool. Uh, like Balloon Boy, maybe I don't know, but let's go to the left, and uh, here the Hardeen Juniper Tree. So we need to head up to the top, and the boulders, well, <laughs> falling rocks. You don't have to worry about them because they're virtual. See, <laughs> didn't hurt. So don't worry about that. They may distract you and make you want or make you worry about falling, but no big deal. So uh, just go up here and talk to this guy and tell him you can't complete his climb. He's upset because the mountain isn't completed, uh, but we'll complete it in a bit. So he's done. He's out of here and he's going to leave his ice pick behind. So go ahead and grab that and or I'm sorry, his climbing axe. And you can see the doodle master is on break. That's a shame. He's going to finish it later. 
Well, we'll see what we can do about that. Let's head over to the right. We're going to go all the way back to the cheese curl factory or cheese curd, cheese curl. All right, now keep going to the right and we're going to run into the scientist again right here and he's gonna have the best idea ever which is these this virtual currency pop tropica coins thing just say it sounds terrible and uh <laughs> yeah um it's an awful idea but it works out in our favor and a little bit later so what you want to do is keep going he never really says much of anything and uh oh wait uh well you're not going to be able to go this way because uh he'll require you to pay him a coin so what you need to do is go into worldwide hq and then head da down to the basement. And we need to mess with the environment. And oh, there he goes again. <laughs> I feel so bad for that guy sometimes. But uh, oh, well, he's always standing on the stairs. He should know better, right? I always have trouble. There we go. And uh, go to your left. And you're going to want to click on the uh, this computer here. And we're going to want to bring up the Island Maker Pro Home Edition. Just change it to nighttime. There we go. And uh, save and quit. Don't forget to save. And then we'll go this way and it'll put it at nighttime and you'll see why in a second that we have to do that. And there we go. And then head over to your left here and check out the shady character. Click on him. Ask him if you can have some pop coins and he gives you some counterfeit money. Don't tell anybody because kind of illegal guys but we didn't make it but and you know it's virtual currency so I, I guess it's okay so keep on running to your right and the guy will come and say hey I want a coin and then you'll say I don't have any but we actually do I think it's just programmed that way so uh, go ahead and pop up your inventory there uh, and give him one of the counterfeit coins and uh, beat him in his own game there you go <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to uh, the cheese curd factory, cheese curl factory, whatever, the cheese factory. <laughs> Keep on going past the university campus. We'll be back. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. That guy looks scary. Uh, <laughs> let's keep on going and go right in here and jump up on the cheese wheels again. Yeah, it is curd. Hmm. Okay. And uh, if you guys see, well, there he is. But uh, if you guys see the little sign right there, it says that dangerous for ice picks. Well, good thing we have one. <laughs> Let's go and use it and uh, break it. Kaboom. It's over. Uh-oh. We're going to have a cheese explosion. <laughs> yep, we messed it up really bad. <gasps> Sorry, dude. We need your help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. So he is going to head back to Pop Tropica Worldwide HQ. There's his badge. And we'll follow right behind as the curd burglars. <laughs> okay. And look, there we go. Mountain rendering nearly complete. I decided to make it a little darker like my soul, etc., cetera, et cetera. Uh, And there goes our inventory. Kaboom. <laughs> That's really cool. So we have to go find Billy Jordan, who is the programmer guy that we were supposed to find in the beginning, but uh, he's crazy. And he's meditating in nature, which means to me, we're going back to the tree and the mountain. So uh, why don't we go over here and make sure that it is daytime and clear? Uh, the reason for that is um, it, it definitely needs to be clear. Uh, if I think you can still do it at night, but if it's rainy, what's gonna happen is uh, the wind will blow you off the mountain and you can't get past it. So it definitely has to be clear. You might as well turn it to daytime as well because we don't need nighttime anymore for the shady character. That's all done. So run over to your left. And uh, guys, you, you have seen the ads for megafightingbots.com. It does actually exist. Um, and uh, this is, we're gonna use that in a minute to get, uh, or a few more minutes to get up on top of Pop Tropica HQ. Uh, we'll need to get something up there. And uh, let's keep going. And this is all set. And that guy's just hanging out. Even though he got rid of his pet, he just wants to hang out and look at the big pile of them. All right. We got the Hardeen Juniper Tree or Jardine. I think Hardeen, but I don't know. Uh, let's see. We're going to go up, up, up. And we're going to go to the same place that we were before. And got to be careful with the jumps on this. But uh, here we go. And you see the mountain is complete now. 
So we're going to keep going up. Oh, this jump is annoying to me sometimes, guys, uh, <laughs> because I jump and then uh, jumping automatically makes me keep walking, even though I've let go of the mouse. But if you get it, there you go. All right. Uh, OK, and we climb the vine oh, and we climb the vine <laughs> with our cheese curd box and we'll go over this way and then we jump up and we'll keep heading in that direction. Oh, and here we go. It'll be a cut scene here, sort of. And ta-da! There's a ski lift that we never saw and could have just used <laughs> instead of climbing the mountain. But, you know, what can you do? <laughs> All right, whatever. Let's go up here. And there's a dude up here. And uh, he's smelly. <laughs> and this is who we're looking for. So go ahead and click number three. I want you to return. But he's going to challenge you to a lovely game of Mancala, which you guys have seen before in Pop Tropica. I'm speeding this up double speed, guys, because it does take a little bit of uh, it does take a little while. Um, when I did Road to Captain Thing Noodles the first time, I got it on the first try, but then it took me about eight tries. So uh, I put it on double speed instead of like triple speed or faster than that. So you guys could copy my movements, although if the computer doesn't copy the movements that uh, that it has done here, um, it won't work out the same. But basically, you want to keep as many on your side as you can. And the bugs, although they count uh, as as a as a as a rock when you're putting it in, they don't count at the end toward your score. So you want to get all the bugs on his side if you can, because they will count toward his rock uh, collection, I guess. And uh, yeah, so we're almost there, guys. <laughs> This was, uh, I, I didn't, I wasn't sure I was going to win this one, but when I saw that he had a bunch of bugs on his side, I thought I might get it. So, uh, and this was the winner right here. That's, that was it right there. That, that took it. And then, uh, then I just kind of bought my own time to try and, uh, get it so that we both had none or so that one of us had none on one side and then it came down to the end. So there's that, got that one. He got his. And then two more turns. And there he goes. And I beat him bad this time. I think it was like 32 to 16 or something. 32 to 13. <laughs> so he has to head back with me. And guys, just keep trying with it. Um, th that's about all the advice I have on Moncala. Um, you know, just try and keep as many on your side as you can. Uh, and hopefully he'll run out of tiles and you'll get to keep all the ones on your side. So Billy Jordan is going back and he fixed our inventory and uh, there is a dialogue bug, which I don't really know about, but whatever. Uh, anyway, it pops up our inventory here and uh, yeah, everything looks to be okay. So let's go ahead and go over to the right here. And oh, uh, one more thing before we go, we need to check our, make, make sure that these are in the right order. So it has to go like that. Um, the car, the building, the the uh, the balloon and then the taller building. That, that's the order they need to be in so we can do the next part. So what we'll do is run over to our right and exit the building here. And we'll run over to the right here. And we need to go and find the third person. And in order to do that, we have to start that last quest. And that's in the university. I promised you guys we'd get here, right? Let's go in. Once you're inside, just go over to the professor and click on him and it'll start a little bit of a dialogue between him and his students who love playing mega fighting bots and don't care about his lecture or his poem at all. And they start taunting each other and calling each other noobs. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the professor will start talking to us and ugh, add. Uh, <laughs> uh, he tells us what he's trying to teach them and he gives us a little picture or he gives the paper to us and you'll see the ad floating. So just click on the ad a bunch of times, get it out of the way and it'll set it on fire. Great. <laughs> so we're going to have to go get him some soda pop, but that's what we needed to do to get him away from his job. So let's go over to the left and you can see there's two ads now. Just click them away. Uh, go ahead and exit and we'll go over to the left back to ward pop tropic at HQ, but we don't have to go in. All right, come on. There we go. And keep it going. There we go. All right. And this guy will have another great idea, guys. And guess what it is? Just say it's tedious. 
But he wants us to collect like a thousand soda bottles or something. Yep, there it is. <laughs> a thousand soda pop bottles. Yay, collectibles. So <laughs> we can easily do this. Uh, you can go from the Jeep, but uh, you can do it from here as well. If you jump on the top there, get up there, get up there, then uh, you still have to use the balloon. So go ahead and jump on the stone balloon there. Then we get to the top of this building. And then we can jump onto the scaffolding here or the window washer. And then we're here. And there's the soda bot bottle right there. Whee okay, and then boom, someone will show up. It's the safety inspector. Great. Well, what does he have for us now? Come on, man. Why can't we have fun? Come on. And I don't know why I can't go. There it is. Okay. Stop jumping off the building is dangerous. Take this. <laughs> I love this helmet, guys. So much fun. Uh, <laughs> you can barely fit through doors. It's so big. <laughs> Anyway, let's uh, go over here and look. Oh no, there's something in the way. We'll ask him what's wrong. Ask him if we can help. He says, get rid of the uh, the soda pop. So the soda pop crate. So we know how to do that. Go ahead and go in here. Well, we don't know how, but I'll show you how. <laughs> go down to the basement. Knock the guy off the stairs again. <laughs> <sighs> okay, and I'll run over to the left. And then go to the computer on the right, the little TV, and you'll see the crate. Just click on it and kaboom. That was easy. <laughs> really easy. Just, I thought we were going to have to do some moving and stuff, but nope. You just smash it. So very powerful computer. Uh, all right. Let's go back out and we'll go and see. And his work is ruined, but let's be honest. It was a terrible idea. So keep going to the right. We can ask him about it. Yep. See, bad idea. So go over and we'll bring the professor his soda pop. I don't know why he wants soda anyway, but whatever. Uh, let's go in here and walk over to him and you'll automatically give him the soda pop. And then he says, yeah, but no. <laughs> what a meanie. What a jerk, right? Okay. So, yep. He says the nightmares will return and the nightmares are about script writing and stuff. And uh, he would stay all night correcting and he'd have no choice. So that gives us an idea on where to get a script. So uh, hint, hint, they're in the trash. So this is, uh, this is the part that I had a lot of trouble with because I had already given out the cake and it had glitched on me and I'd reloaded the island and it took the cake away. And you need that for this part. So. Uh, let's go back to Pop Tropica HQ again. Seems to be a very, very popular place, especially the developer cave. Uh, <laughs> let's go in here and go over to the left and go down to the basement dungeon and knock the guy up the stairs again. Sorry, dude. So sorry. Uh, and then, uh, go over this way and up. Oh, everybody's sitting on each other's laps, cost cutting again. When will they learn? My goodness. Okay, <laughs> so go over to your left here and you'll see these suitcases bumping around. Click on the guy. Ask him about the script. He'll say, I don't know, man. I'm tired. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so open up your inventory and now give out the cake and he'll get out of the way. There we go. <laughs> Run! Okay, there he goes. And we can open up the trash can, move stuff out of the way here. Keep it going, keep it going. And there it is, Zomberry Island script. And you can just click the X, but if you keep clicking it, it zooms in really far. Check this out. <laughs> it gets really slow. So go ahead and close it and it'll jump into your inventory there. And uh, then run over to your right. We gotta go bring that back to the writer because we know that if he sees this script, he is going to really be happy. But let's put that on because uh, I, I like it. <laughs> it's a it, it's a fun helmet to wear, uh, and uh, and actually we 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 will need it later on. I found out, but uh, but it is fun to wear, and I hope we get to keep it uh, because it's just so stupid looking. <laughs> I mean, could you imagine wearing a safety helmet like that? It's like bigger than my whole body by far. All right, let's go into the university here. And we'll bring him the script. Just click on him. It'll auto give it to him. And he can't help himself. He is off. And then the students make him happy. Yay! But they are talking about mega fighting bots. See? 
<laughs> mega fighting bots, mega fighting bots. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Good try. All right, let's go on back to Pop Chop HQ. <clears throat> and oh boy, look at this ad. Most obtrusive ad ever. And if you click on it, it just gives you a like that. And uh, yeah, and she says, well, there's nothing you can do about it unless you've got money. I'll take pop coins, which as you guys remember, we have, oh, that thing's annoying. We have a bunch of, um, oops, did not mean to go in there. Uh, we have a bunch of counterfeit coins, so we're going to go use those. So let's go back to Pop Tropic HQ as this ad bounces around off of us. Oh, man, that thing's annoying. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, there it is again. And let's get in here. Take the elevator up to the third floor. There we go. Second floor. One more. Now, I did find a little bit of a glitch here um, with wearing the hat. So uh, if you come over here, you talk to her. She says, hey, bring me some cash. You go ahead and say, yeah, yeah, I got cash. I got counterfeit coins. Nothing happens. But if you take the hat off. So let me show you that right now. Uh, let me go my inventory here. Open that up. Take the hat off and then uh, open it up again. Wow, it looked funny. <laughs> oh, my glasses are gone. That's what it is. Oh my goodness. I was like, why do I look so funny? All right, there you go. It works. So um, yeah, wow, it looks weird without the glasses. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yep. So there we go. Ad's gone. Saved. Hooray. Okay. Cool, right? All fixed. We got the writers there. Everything's okay. We're all set. I mean, we've, we've fixed this whole thing, right guys? Right? Let's go down to the bottom floor and celebrate and get our medal, right? Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. This does not look good. Let's talk to her. What? She eliminated the servers? Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, so she says we won't notice the difference. Well, well, let's go talk to the developers and see what they think. Let's go down to the basement and, and say, guys, what did she do to, your, to, to our servers here? It, it might be really bad. So um, let's go into the basement and... Uh-oh. Uh oh, oh no, what just happened here? <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I love being in this. And uh, if you go over here, you'll notice you'll keep banging your head on the Pop Tropica logo. And well, we have something for that. So go ahead and open your menu here and put that funny helmet back on and go ahead and break all of the blocks. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's like, it's like playing Mario Brothers. Boing, boing, um, you know, breaking blocks. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old, I know. All right, uh, there we go. Breaking blocks with your fat head. Classic. So I think they're referencing Mario, but I don't know. Uh, let's go and uh oh, it's all falling apart. I love this effect. Really cool. And boom, we're going to end up in the server room. And so uh, what we have to do is direct the power flows of the red, yellow, green, and blue two different areas and you can see the little switches um that button does nothing <laughs> but you can see these little switches uh switch the pathways like this and you have to switch them in a certain order and i'll show you that now it took me a while to figure this out but uh there is a little map that shows you how to toggle things and it is down at the bottom here next to one of these power source or i guess power receivers kind of um, but yeah, if you go down to the bottom right here, you'll see this one right here and it tells you avoid overload. So you have to go red, then yellow, then blue, then green. And that's how you want to direct the flow. And you can see on the map, which direction each one has to go. So it'd be to the left, to the left, up and down. So left, left, up, down. And, uh, I'll just fast forward right here <laughs> so that you guys can, uh, you guys don't have to watch me jump from platform to platform. And so there, oh. Come on, there it is, okay. And that's the last one. There we go, finished. <laughs> and we're all set, we fixed the server. Everything should work. The server load is all spread out. And here we go, yes! I don't believe it, all of the problems are fixed. The island is ready to launch, Pop Tropica is back! So that's it. <laughs> no, the only thing missing is final Pop Tropica style twist. There should be an enemy who's hiding in plain sight. It's all four of them, and they own mega fighting bots that they want everyone to play instead of Bop Tropica. <laughs> uh, 
So guess what, guys? And this is kind of awesome. Uh, this is, <laughs> I really, really like this cutscene. So I'm gonna be quiet during it so you guys can enjoy it because it's pretty hilarious. Uh, here we go. Uh, we must summon the real life mega fighting bots. And it's awesome. Like, and, and it's cool because each person sort of represents their mega fighting bot. I mean, check it out with the colors and the way they look. Pretty awesome. Okay, here we go. So as you guys can tell, all of them uh, joined together into one giant bot and uh, <laughs> gratuitous action sequence. So here we go. And all you really have to do is fire coins at him, fling coins at him. And there you go. So, oh, I missed there. Uh, where did he go? So he, he teleports once in a while and you see he's got the rock in his hand. He's going to throw it at me and he's going to nail me right here because I didn't know you have to dodge, but boom. So all you have to do is when he's about to throw something at you, he also throws his fists at you. So, uh... Where did he go? And yeah, so so he's he's got he's got one in his hand. He gets ready to throw it, and as soon as you start to see him move, move out of the way. There you go. And uh, he does fire his fists at you. And yeah, I, I yeah didn't see that one coming. <laughs> but all you have to do is keep hitting him, keep hitting him, keep hitting him, and up oh, there he goes. He's falling apart. And ta-da! Pop Tropical Master, we've defeated the final boss, the Mega Fighting Bots, and. Uh, you have to keep clicking that because <laughs> you have to break the achievement system because it's so annoying. There you go. And <laughs> just keep hitting it with coins. There you go. <laughs> Love it. Classic. Okay. And there we go. You haven't seen The Last of Us. We'll build a new game, but where? And uh, I'll go mobile. <laughs> and they fly in here. Check this thing out. Turns into a plane. Sweet. And they're out of here. That's fine. See you guys. We don't need you. Bye bye. You tried to ruin everything for us anyway. So there we go. Good riddance. And that is it, guys, for the island. Uh, the next one is uh, ready to go or they're, they're, they got to start programming. So uh, what we'll get is a glitzy but ultimately worthless tchotchke in the end, which is our metal. <laughs> which... There we go. That's it, guys. And uh, this continues a little bit. Uh, there is a bonus quest, but it's not active yet. So if you're looking for the bonus quest walkthrough, just uh, go ahead and uh, and click the link in the description. It'll be there by the time the bonus quest comes out. Uh, but it's not available right now. And if this helped you in any way, please, please, please leave a like. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, noodle on.